you took on this role and you actually chased after it. Mm. Uh, but the role itself is almost could be a thankless role in the mm. sense that, you know, it's it's kind of the 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 third, but like sure. it, but easily could have been I don't know. So sure. so why why this one that you felt that you wanted to be a part of? This is all about the fact that the script was so good. I mean, you know, and so I didn't really necessarily. F well, First of all, I genuinely have a crazy respect and an on off-screen crush on Katherine Heigl, you know, and so I knew going into it that I wanted to work with her. I, I've really been very impressed by what she she has been doing. Um, but when I read the script, I just felt like this is just a really good movie. And part of me these days, I just want to be a part of good movies as opposed to, you know, playing necessarily the most complex character or the lead character or. Um, something that can you know those can be great and challenging too but more than anything i just felt like this is a smart good movie and uh i got a good sense from greg and so i was really happy to be able to do it i feel like based on i've talked to you for a couple times today <laughs> uh, that you're kind of in the study period it's like you're going through your master's program of acting and like and and in a way that um you're choosing roles based on curiosity or challenging and stuff mm. like that. so do you feel that this this is another kind of lesson, you know, course, a part of your course? Well, I think it's maybe it's like a piece, it's like a puzzle piece in that sense, and I think it's partly because, you know, you want to work in movies, like, you want to work in movies that are being seen, that people see, and you also want to work in genres that you, like for this case, I hadn't done a movie like this in a long time, and I really, really have to say I like comedy, and I like movies that, particularly if they have a smart or an, an intelligent side to them, um, and I, I want to do it more and more and more. And again, I think, you know, it's true. Like, you you can get on certain paths that don't necessarily reflect who you are or where you want to be, even though if you're enjoying the path, it's okay. But in this case, I really wanted to go back towards doing something more genre, comedy, um, playful, romantic-based than I had in a while. And I really want to do more and more of it. I really like doing it. Um, what is it about this cast that you particularly enjoyed coming into because I know that you, you, you came later mm -hmm. while they've already been shooting and stuff. So um, there must have been a nice... I mean, I can't I mean, overstate, like, I feel like, I just keep feeling like I'm gushing about this movie because it was one of those weird experiences where from the day I arrived, you had this strange sense of something wonderful going on. Obviously, Catherine had just adopted the baby um, and that was kind of all over the place and there's a lot of attention coming to her about that. But... The producer of the movie had just had, or was just about to have a baby. There was a real sense that you know Greg was in his um, element. Like the movie was really working. That his uh, work with Josh and Catherine and the babies had, had all really kind of um, come to fruition, and they were they were in something that they were all having so much fun doing. And I think that it, it's like we're just watching NFL today. And I think anytime you're watching football and you see a team that's that's winning, but they seem like they're having a bad time winning or not that they're not that they're that they're working so hard to win as opposed to another team that's working so hard and seems to be having a great time doing it and in this case I felt like that's what was going on in this movie where everyone was just having a blast to the point I was like wow this is almost surreal how easy this is or how much fun this is and you know acting and movies can oftentimes be a pretty competitive stress filled pressure filled environment and there was something about this I do think it comes down a lot to Catherine and Greg being just very kind of calm leading forces is really what I felt and Josh as well I mean all of them were just like hey man this is really nice we're having a really nice time and go to Catherine's trailer and she'd have a glass of wine and you know be getting to know her new baby it was pretty special there's something interesting in the sense that their career track uh, was about doing television and, mm. and they succeeded at it mm. and then therefore they were allowed to do films mm. at, you know and outcome. would you be curious to pursue something of that sort where where by being in a television show that is seen by the nation that allows you some kind of window accent, you know yeah, yeah. And, uh, um, would that be a part of your, your I mean for me it's like I what I've learned is to try and understand myself uh, psychologically and I know for me like what works best for me is if things are changing a lot and so it's interesting because you read a lot these days and there's a lot of talk how TV is as good or better than movies as a as a whole and that some of the best entertainment being done of all is television and so I have great respect for it I have great respect of how you know it's a very difficult medium because of how the, 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 the hours that you work and 
all the different elements that way. But the fact is that it's long, serious schedules. You know, you can do a movie. I did a movie recently in 18 days. And, you know, TV automatically is six month to nine month minimum. And so my mind, the way it works, is something that I, I just don't know. I, I wonder about it. I question whether I would thrive in it or whether I would just kind of quickly go crazy. <laughs> um, and I'm worried it would be the second. <laughs>